Hello, I'm Alina. Today I will show you how to set up external radio one plus one mode. Now let's begin. First, quickly set up the tripod. Then, attach the triangle base to the tripod and perform the centering and leveling operation. Next, we'll install the instrument. First, install the battery into the SL900 receiver. The SL900 receiver has three interfaces, the left one is the USB data interface, which can be connected to a computer via a USB cable for data transfer, the middle one is the antenna interface, used for installing a radio or network antenna, and the right one is the 5-pin interface, used for connecting an external radio and transmitting differential data. The external radio also has three interfaces. On the left is the UHF interface for connecting the transmitting antenna. On the right is the power interface for a 12V battery or external power supply. And the final one is the 5-pin interface that connects to the GNSS receiver. Next, we will install the short connecting rod and survey benchmark onto the SL900 receiver. Then, we will connect the receiver to the external radio using a 5-pin cable. When connecting, please ensure that the red dot on the 5-pin cable interface aligns with the red dot on the instrument interface. After connecting, we will mount the receiver and the external radio onto the tripod. Next, we connect the external radio to the transmitting antenna via the transmitting antenna connector. Then, we connect the extension rod to the transmitting antenna. Finally, we use the Tribrac aluminum sheet to mount the transmitting antenna on the tripod. Next, we connect the external radio to the external power supply using the radio power cable. When connecting the 5-pin interface, ensure the red dots align. When connecting to the external power supply, ensure correct polarity. Level and center the instrument again. Measure the instrument height. Power on the base receiver and external radio. Connect the controller to the base via NFC to configure the base station settings. Click on Base and select External Radio as the data link. Since we are setting up the base station at a control point, we select Set by Point. However, if your base station is not set up at a control point, you can choose Set by Average, and then your rover will need to perform a site calibration at the control point to obtain the correct coordinates. Next, we'll set the target height. Here, we select slant S as the measure type, then input the base station height we just measured. The next step is to input the control point coordinates. Please choose between NEZ and BLH coordinate systems, depending on the type of control points. You can either type in the coordinates manually or select them from the point library. For correction type, we generally select RTCM 3.2. The base station's surrounding environment determines the elevation mask, which is usually set to the default value. Next, click Set Radio Perum to configure the external radio's protocol, channel, power, and other settings. When you click Protocol, you'll see a list of supported protocols. Choose the appropriate one based on your needs. The channel number usually doesn't need to be changed and can be left at the default. Remember that the channel number on the rover needs to be set to 10 to match the base station. For the radio power, select High Power. In High Power mode, the radio signal is stronger and has a wider transmission range. 
Click Set to complete the external radio configuration. Then, click Set again to complete the base setup. The flashing signal light on the base station receiver indicates that the base station is transmitting signals to the external radio. The flashing TX slash RX lights on the external radio signify that the radio is transmitting signals. You can also view the current protocol, frequency, and channel of the radio on the external radio screen. Next, we'll set up the rover. First, attach the radio antenna to the rover RTK. Then, mount it on the surveying pole. Turn on the SL7 GNSS receiver, and use the handheld controller to connect to the rover via NFC for rover configuration. Select the internal UHF as the data link. Ensure the protocol and channel match the base station. Click Set to complete the rover setup. The flashing signal light on the rover confirms the successful reception of differential corrections from the base. Once the instrument gets a fixed solution, measurement can commence. This all for the external radio 1 plus 1 mode. Bye.